This video is number two in a three-part series. In the first video, I did a brief overview of Redis, how it works, some of the history behind it, and its features. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Redis on a Docker container and how to install the Redis client library for use in Node.js so that we can actually play with it in my next video. Um, so this video assumes you already have Docker installed, uh, but if you don't have it installed, all you have to do is go to the docker.com website, go ahead and click in the top right here where it says get started. Uh, it should bring you to this download screen. And then depending on the platform that you're on, if you're on Windows, go ahead and click on Windows. If you're on Mac, click on Mac. I can also use Linux as well. So go ahead and get that installed. Once you do, you should have a Docker icon in your image tray. Uh, and if you do, that's how you know you're ready to proceed to the next step. Alrighty guys, so here we are in my command prompt. Uh, I just went to the Windows section down on the bottom left here, type in CMD and then you get your command prompt. Uh, hopefully you managed to get Docker installed. If you did, make sure that you have it running. Uh, and if you go to the bottom right of your tray, if you're on Windows, you should see this guy here, uh, Docker desktop is running. And if you right click on it and you go to dashboard, you should get this neat UI here that uh, shows you that there's currently no containers running on your machine. So if you're at this step, then it's good you're ready to proceed. So the next thing we need to do is pull the Redis image from the Docker repository. So let's just say Docker pull Redis, and this should install the Redis engine from the Docker website. Uh, so let's just give this a moment to complete. And we can see now that we're complete. So the next thing that we want to do now, let me just move that up, is that we want to launch an instance of Redis on our local machine. Uh, so in order to do that, we're gonna run the command as follows. So docker run dash D dash P. Uh, we're gonna do that on 6379, port 6379, which is the default for Redis. Uh, we're gonna call this just Redis1. Um, that's gonna be the container name and we're gonna use the Redis uh, command. So we can see here this hash that gets spit out, that signifies that um, we started up our process successfully. So if we type in Docker PS now, uh, it should show us, unfortunately this isn't formatted very well. If I can extend this, maybe it'll look more sane. Um, Okay, that's a little bit better, but we can see that the image is Redis, the command that we use when it was created, uh, and that it's on port 6379, and that it's called Redis 1. So everything seems to be set up correctly. Um, so the next thing that we can do is actually take a look at the logs that Redis is emitting right now. So if we do Docker logs Redis 1, uh, we can see what's going on inside of the um, engine. Uh, and this is just a bunch of logs that are taking place as it started up. So the next thing that we want to do is run the um, CLI so that we can interact with Redis and run some commands against it. This is similar to what you would see in like the Chrome developer console or the Python interactive window. Uh, it's a similar kind of concept. So we're gonna say docker exec dash it, and we're gonna say Redis one, which is the name of our container and say sh. And we can see now we have this hash sign uh, or this pound sign here on the left. And that's how we know that we're ready to go. Um, so now we need to confirm that we're attached to the Redis CLI. So we're gonna say Redis dash CLI, and now we are in. So we're on port 6379. And at this point now we are actually attached to our container. Uh, so we can just ping right now just to see what's going on and we get a pong back. So uh, Redis is successfully running on our machine. Um, so let's run some like very basic commands just to show that this is actually working correctly. Um, so the first command was we can just set the name variable. You can see you get some great autocomplete here. Um, so set the name variable to Daniel. Uh, we got an OK back. Now let's get the name Daniel. Oop, I think I made a mistake there. So it's just get name. There we go. So now we got Daniel back. We can increment a counter. So if we say INCR uh, counter, we can see it move from zero to one. If we do this again, uh, I can just increment it or decrement it as many times as you want. Um, so at this point we have uh, Redis installed and we have it running inside of our container. In the next video, we're gonna be interacting with Redis using a client library offered through Node.js. So let's just go ahead and install that right now by exiting out of everything. And let me just pull up the um, module that we're gonna be downloading. So I'm just gonna pull it in here so you can all take a look. So here we go. So I'm just on npm.js, npmjs.com slash package slash Redis. Uh, we're just gonna run the npm install Redis. So obviously this assumes that you have npm installed. Um, so it's just giving us an example here of how to uh, start a client and how to do some uh, basic operations. So let's just install this client now. So npm install Redis, uh, npm install Redis. 
and this should take a moment or so and that was pretty quick for me so that's great uh, so like i said in the next video we're going to be interacting with reddit's using the uh, node.js module um, to kind of perform some basic commands on it so stay tuned for that coming up next